back to the register page again and I'm going to close this up. Let's try creating a new user. This is their username. I'm just going to say their username should be something like John. Okay. And we grab the John we register. Uh oh, I forgot their email address. So we're going to come over here, create a new user. I'm going to go to register, create a new user. Let's say their username is going to be something like, um, I don't know, let's say Daniel. And let's grab this email register. So right now we can go ahead and try logging in with that email. We come over to login. Then we can come, try accessing the dashboard page. And what do you notice in the dashboard? Uh oh, seems it's not showing up. What's going on? Um, should we let's log out again? I think I have a I have another user in my database. Let's look for we've got a couple of users, right? I'm gonna copy this one and I'm gonna come over here and paste this and let's log in. I'll come over to dashboard. Okay, nothing seems to be showing up over here in the dashboard. I don't know what's wrong. Let's break out from our React terminal and let's run it again. So npm starts. Okay, so we are waiting for our development server to start up again. Okay, there you go. It started up and um, we are over here. So right now we can come over to the dashboard. This is what we have. We don't have anything. I'm going to go ahead and log out. So if we come over to Destiny, let me log in with the Destiny account and come over to the dashboard. So as you can see, nothing is still showing up over here. Let me make this full. Let's get back to the to the application local storage. There seems to be an issue with all this, right? Yeah, if I clear this local storage now and refresh this, there is definitely an issue with this dashboard. Okay, okay. I think that's the that's the problem. I think I just found out something. So I'm going to come over to app. This over here is dashboard. This one is dash old so there's nothing in dash bar old okay i think that's my that's my bad that problem should be coming from the header so if i open up the the nav bar i don't know why i keep calling that header so over here this is where we had an issue so it's dashboard and not dash bar old so everything seems to be working well now i'm gonna create a new user i'm gonna push this in um let's say we want their username to be something like i don't know let's say jerry okay i'm gonna grab their email so that we can log in and I'm going to try logging in with the user and hit login. So if we come over to dashboard, <clears throat> okay, what do you notice? Hello, Jerry. So this is working perfectly well. Now we can get whatever user that's logged in using this. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and um, fix up every other thing that's that we need to fix up. So in the dashboard, we call the user over here, right? And... Um, over here, this is what shows my chat. I'm gonna remove this chat thing for now. You guys can you can you can fix it in later if you want. Okay, but this seems kind of okay for me for now. Now let's go ahead and look for a place to display, you know, the the response thing that we got. So before we actually display the response thing, we need to go ahead and grab it using use effects. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna come over here, just outside this, this if statement. We need to go ahead and create a new use effect, instantiate this. And um, what we just wanna do is go ahead and create a const and let's just call this fetch data. You can call that whatever you want. This should go to async and over here. This is a function, hopefully you know. So what we are trying to do now is make a simple API request to this endpoint over here. Let's put this side by side. So I'm trying to make a simple API request. So I'm gonna come over to slash API and um, let's run this. So I wanna make a simple API request, since it's not showing over here, to the protected route, this one over here, tests. So now, as you can see, if we come over to slash test, as you can see, it says authentication credentials were not provided. And we can only get this error if only a user is logged in or if only this route is authenticated or logged in required, or there's a login required mixing in it, that's only when we should access this page. Right now, a user is not logged in, so we are not able to access the test endpoint. Okay, so how do we go ahead and access the test endpoint and actually call this congratulations message over here and see if everything actually works? So if that works, that's pretty much it. We are done with the tutorial. So in the that should be in the navbar, right? I'm gonna close this up and um, close this off again. Close this up. Yeah, that should be in the dashboard. So over here, we need to try. And I'd highly recommend you guys use a try catch for all this because if you don't 
sometimes you're going to be getting errors and you're going to be like come on what's going on um you don't you know you can't even fix the error you can't even see what's going on so i'd highly recommend using a, a catch so i'm going to put in an error over there and we simply want to log the error that we get so whatever error we get we, we log it over there and you can even go ahead and and set res so i'm going to say set res and we're going to say something like wrong okay something went wrong don't worry in the future video we're gonna go ahead and start getting the exact error that we are supposed to show up okay okay so um let's close this off that's the wrong that's the wrong endpoint so for the try this is where we need to go ahead and do it what do we want to do i'm just gonna say const response like this this should be equal to await then we're gonna call api dot get so api dot get then what do we want to get um actually we can go ahead and do slash tests don't worry i'm gonna explain what's going on here now i'm gonna do slash test slash just like this seems to be working well so if you don't want okay don't worry i'm gonna explain what's going on so after we've done this let's go ahead and call the set resting and we need to call response response dot data dot response so why am I calling response.data.response? If I come over to my views py, views py, as you can see, this over here is data, and I returned it as response. There you go. So whenever I call this response over here, whatever I call this, let's say I call this banana, then in my React, I need to call that banana. But since I call this response, I need to say um, over here, response dot data this is react way of grabbing now whatever would be in here is what we called ours okay so there you go we've done that one and um i think that's it for the for the gets we need to also go ahead and do something the fetch data this one over here we just need to go ahead and instantiate it just down here or else it's not going to work so i'm just going to run our api again one more time and um hopefully this is going to run well Okay, this this still this still keeps running, okay. Okay, yeah, it's 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 running perfectly well now. It's, it's not running multiple times again. There you go. So what we can do is just go ahead and and console log this res, or we can just append it to somewhere. So just before the section title, I'm gonna look for the section title. Um, let's let's just search for section title there you go that's the section title just just down here let's just create a simple div like this and i'm gonna add this a class name i'm gonna say a lot then a lot dash success just like this and um let's see if this is working there you go it's working so let's just go ahead and pass in the res in there in the in there okay there you go we get something went wrong so something obviously is going wrong so we need to go ahead and see what's happening so i, I want to put this in a strong tag so it actually looks more like you know something went wrong now let's see what's going on what's going on um how about we say something like res.status res.status okay okay that's that's an issue so let's hop over to the top over here we set res response the data response else that so what could be the issue let's go ahead and check out what's what's the problem is okay so um we're getting all this something went wrong error what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and log out and let's try logging in again i'm gonna come over to login and right now we hit the login button and let's come over to the dashboard okay there you go it's working perfectly well now so the issue was that we just need to go ahead and log out then log in again so it's it can actually get the you know the test over here or you know the the response because it was gonna say something like invalid refresh token because whenever whenever we want to access it um something like this actually react needs to get an access token for it and then we have actually called us before logging in so it doesn't ha have any access token right now if we come over here and and check out our application let's see if that actually shows up over there what do you notice now we have access so if this access isn't here i'm just going to go ahead and delete this access if it's not here then definitely that's there's going to be an issue let's let's refresh this and see what's going to happen um okay okay i think i think definitely the access is gonna is gonna get back there because we have all actually authenticated a user right now we have actually authenticated a user so the access is gonna be there so there you go it's working all we need to do is just log out and log in again so that it can get a new 
um, access token before we've call, actually called this API before logging in. So definitely it was going to throw an error. Okay. So we log in, we log out, we get this. So as you can see, it says, congratulations, deathfix at gmail.com. Your API just responded to a get response. So whenever we call request.user now, we're going to get this. Okay. So I think that's pretty much it. Let's just go ahead and, um, let us go ahead and, and try out for the post. So you can be like, you might be like, okay, in the dashboard, okay, it seems we've got a lot of tabs over here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the dashboard. You might be like, why did I just pass in test over here? So hopefully you already know that there is an endpoint called tests and we need to pass in all this 1270 thing slash API, but we already have that. So if I come over to the use exhaust thing, we have already passed it in here. So whenever you want to use the, the API, or whenever you want to use the use axios, you don't need to pass this in again because we've actually done it. As you can see, we passed it in here and we're actually passing the BRR and access token. So that's why we just saved ourselves the stress of passing in the API um, 127 one slash API slash test and we just passed in test and that's working perfectly well. So yeah, that's it. And um, I think that's pretty much what we want to do. Let's actually also try one out for, for you know, in case there is some like there is a post request so this is going to be post let's call post also and um let's get down here so right now it's just reacting to a get fetch data i'm just going to call this fetch post data copy this paste it down here we set rest to that you know what i'm just going to okay let, what's going on it says fetch data is in the find um what's going on this fetch post data this one is supposed to be fetch data so let's refresh this one see actually we're not supposed to be getting that error because everything seems to be working well okay there you go it's working so as you can see congratulations your api just responded to post requests and with a text none so where is that with the text none let's see did he actually show with the text none in the previous one so um let's come over to the view i'm going to come over to the view there's one over here Okay, this is the text. Seems it's not getting the text. Data request.post.get. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what we need to do now is go ahead and set up some like um, we need to go ahead and set up some like a form that's gonna grab whatever text that we pass in. But if for any reason we did something like um in here, we just say something like with the text um hello buddy, something like that then our API is going to run again. Then over here, we will refresh this, which is something like with the text, hello, buddy. Since we've already worked extensively with grabbing forms and all that, I think we should be done with it already. So as you can see, we get this. So um, I think that's pretty much it. Everything is working perfectly well. And with that, we have come to the end of the Django JWT React authentication system. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned a whole lot of things. And I'm definitely sure that you're going to be getting maybe one or two errors. There's no problem. Just go ahead and drop your errors in the comment section below. And I'm going to go ahead and start helping and answering them okay so yeah hopefully that's gonna be it you guys enjoyed the video and last something new to make sure to, to make sure to drop a like because that's subscribing as it really mean the world to me and also i'm rolling out um a react django course soon it's really gonna be amazing we're gonna be building something like a facebook clone using react and django it's really really gonna be amazing and fire do make sure to check out the links in the description below and also check out my youtube clone udemy course it's actually really amazing it's gonna teach you everything you need to get started using django and you know we're gonna go ahead and start working with a lot of django apis and all that so you know to have a base with django so do make sure to get that course it's really gonna be amazing and also i'm also rolling out a payment full payment fintech application using Django so you're gonna be able to build your own payment system you know not just like integrating stripe or PayPal but you're gonna be building your own okay and the name of the application that we're gonna be building would be don't worry I'm you guys are gonna see it in the course okay so in that one you're gonna be able to do things like send money to your friends with account number create accounts for users do things like KYC add credit cards withdraw money from credit cards fund credit card and it's really gonna be amazing do make sure to wait for that course when it's gonna be dropping should be dropping in a week time or so and i think yeah that's gonna be it don't forget to drop a like on this video consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me and on to the next video mad love peace out